one of the things that I struggled with as a child was I was um, very socially awkward and I was um, unpopular in school. Boys definitely did not like me. I was had frizzy hair, overbite, I didn't know how to dress, all of those things. And uh, I remember Valentine's Day specifically being like the worst holiday ever because the teachers would make us sit around and write out Valentine's cards for people in our class that we liked. And then I remember we would like create this little box that we would like hang or tape to the edge of the table um, in arts and crafts. And then like people would come by and drop Valentine's cards in it, you know, at a certain point of the day, the teacher would say, okay, everyone take your Valentine's cards out and drop it in the, you know, the box on the desk of the person that you want to give the Valentine's that's to. That's a terrible thing to do. Guess who didn't get any Valentine's oh, cards? Oh, that's what a stupid thing Me. for teachers to do. I actually got one Valentine's oh. Day card from the girl in the class that gave Valentine's Day cards to everybody. <laughs> So, and then I think I got one from the teacher and that was it. And I remember specifically like this boy, Francisco, I had a huge crush on. And I remember him walking like in my direction with like a card in his hand. And I remember like at the moment it like became that kind of slow motion. And I was like, oh, he's going to put it in my box. He's going to put it in my box. And he didn't. He put it in the box of the girl with the desk next to me. And I was like heartbroken. So anyhow, so I hated Valentine's Day. So one Valentine's Day, I get this mystery card that was mailed to me. And, you know, as a kid, getting mail is super exciting, um, especially before the days of the internet, you know, when you wouldn't get emails, you would get mail. And, um, and I opened it and it was from a secret admirer. And it said, you know, that they thought I was the most beautiful girl in the world and I was so smart and I was so pretty and I was very special and, you know, that they loved me very much, but they were, you know, a secret admirer, so they wouldn't tell me who they were. And I remember being so excited about this. I was like, oh, my God, a boy likes me. This is incredible. And showing it to my parents and trying to figure out who it was. And, you know, nobody had any answers. And and then the next year I got the same card. And that happened for a couple of years. And then um, when I got older, I realized that the handwriting was sort of familiar And then I realized it was my father who had been sending me these Valentine's Day cards. And I told you I was going to cry. But like the fact that my dad would like write me this card about how special he thought I was and would like drive across town to mail it back to my house so that I felt that I was loved. Because I knew I was loved by my parents, but you know when you're a kid, like, that doesn't really matter, you know what I mean? You want to be loved by society and your friends and all that kind of stuff. You don't appreciate the love of your parents until when you're older. And, you know, I think my dad kind of recognized that. And when I realized that it was my dad who'd been sending me these cars, it was just like, it was so much more special to me because, you know, before I thought it was like this mystery boy who liked me. But then I realized it was my father who loved me so much that he would go out of his way to mail me these Valentine's Day cards that made me feel so special. And, and like, he's like all uncomfortable looking out the window. But like, dad, I'll never forget that. Like, that was an amazing thing to do. And it's like, I love you so much. Oh, no, shucks. 